Hey guys, it's your boy Trugamu, and I'm here with another video. Now, before I start, I just want to thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support and your patience. Uh, I'm going to be posting more videos as more as, as most as possible. Uh, but yes, thank you, absolutely, thank you. And as always, leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more, which I will be doing. Now, let's get on to the main event, which is the Mastery Class System. Now, essentially, everybody wants to choose a class and get these new techniques, right? Everybody wants that. Well, to do that, you got to activate the Mastery Activations. So, what is that? What is that, you say? Well, first of all, you need to be 110. Your, your key level for each weapon, before upgrading it to Mastery, you need to be 110. Now, once you have that 110, then you just go into Modifications, and then you go all the way to Bottom Activate. Let's do that. Boom! It's got another one. Yes, we do. Now, sometimes you'll be able to re-roll it, and i explain after a while what criteria that means. Um, you can re-roll things, or you can bypass things. It depends on the challenge. Now, we're going to do that for every single one here. We're going to go boop, 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 Let's do it. Every single one, every single one. You know why? Because we want everything to be on the master ride. Yeah, let's get it done. Now, this has happened before where accidentally you kind of, <laughs> you want to mastery something, but then you re-roll your class instead, and that's that's not good. Yeah, that's not good. You lose all your skills. Anywho, so everything's mastery. Now, the thing that y you guys have graciously answered on b for me, and I thank you very much because I took my time, and I'm very sorry. Ronin unlock. Let's see. Let's see right here. Let's see right here. Oh, Shazam. Yes, you can. And this applies to everything. So it's not just locked uh, for the class, although that is what is said when you start a mastery class. You can still use it for the other unlocks. So for a blowgun, you can use it for Ronin and Assassin. For the longbow, you can use it for every class if it is versatile. For the bomb packs, you can use it just for Assassin and Ronin. And finally, for Forbidden Medicine, you can use it for Samurai, Ronin, and Assassin. Fantastic. That is that is pretty great. So there are no limitations as long as you have that unlock. Now, let's go back to Assassin here. Get that gear. Now, if you want to get to 120, you will need to complete these mastery challenges. You will get one at random. You might even get two of the same one in a row that has happened to me and I did not like it one bit not at all not at all I bypassed it and I'll tell you how now these are all fairly intuitive you know all of these are fairly intuitive the only thing that got me <laughs> confused at one point was defeat elder Oni I wasn't sure what that was and I couldn't find an answer uh, until now which yeah. is the elder Oni or the purple Oni that's all you need to know purple Oni so if you need to complete the end nightmare that's about it. So go into, if you get this challenge, go into Nightmare, beat some Purple Oni, and then boom, bada, boom, bada, bing, you got your completion. Now, you will get two levels per Mastery Challenge. So you will need to complete five per gear to get to 120. This is what I meant in my past video by this has become quite the grind. It becomes very grindy. And for that, we have... Ba, 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 dee, da. Now, if you'd like to complete these much faster, you have Cursed Gear. Cursed Gear is quite annoying. It gives you these negative stats, which isn't great, and then it gives you a curse that once you complete it, well, you those curses go away. It all of a sudden becomes normal gear. And that Cursed Gear, you can use to then either bypass something so I can go over here and be like oh I want to bypass this challenge because I don't want to do it no more I'm sick of setting people on fire well you can bypass it or you can save it for later because once you have something at 120 you can reroll your second perk now if you're confused as to what a second perk is it is not a second stat so it's not melee damage ultimate damage your second perk will be another red stat so let's go over here uh, so once you have a piece of gear at 120, okay, you'll have those two red sets. See, I have flash bomb and black powder bomb. So if I'd like to re-roll that, I will need to get the appropriate cursed gear 
to be able to roll it. I currently have two, so I can re-roll it. I'll leave it at that for now, because obviously I don't mind it. Uh, but yes, now, it's a double-edged sword. You want as much curse gear as possible for the benefits, which is 25% increase in your drops, which is amazing. Not drops as in gear, but drops as in currency, uh, which is amazing. And by the way, if you are playing four people, let's say, as I always say, EO Chapter 3 for the fastest farming in six minutes or less. Uh, if you get four people that happen to get their curse gear unlock together, that's a 100% increase in currency drop. That's insane. So obviously this won't work all the time, and it is a negative when you use your curse gear. However, that bonus is well worth it. Super well worth it. Anyways, by what I meant by the double-edged sword is the fact that you kind of want to farm the curse gear, even though it sucks, because bypassing these mastery challenges will become key. Not everyone has the time to play this 24 hours a day to complete every single mastery challenge. How many, I love making gear sets. That's what I do. You guys know it. I make gear sets all the time. And to do this, getting the... Uh, getting the uh, curse gear is essential so that I can bypass all these challenges so I can do as many classes as possible. So I'm going to be farming gear in EO <laughs> for the foreseeing, for, for the future. I'll be farming quite a lot so I can get that curse gear and bypass it. Now, it's a rare commodity and so you might not want to waste it if you're not doing what I'm doing. I'm purposely going to farm it so that I can bypass all that stuff. But if you don't have that time, that's fine. Save it up so that you can get the right second perk. Do not use it to bypass if you're only intending on making one gear set. There is no point. Uh, it's just me because I'm crazy. So yeah, if you guys have any questions for me, and if you want to add something, please, you know, Say it in below, you leave a leave a note, leave a message, you know, I'll always answer. I try my best. And yeah, thank you again. And leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I will be posting more. Thanks guys. Bye.